Hi guys, Mike Martin here. Right, what you're looking at right now is a blank installation of WordPress, okay? And what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna run through and quickly show you exactly how to set up Elementor for WordPress, but not that. What I'm gonna show you is then how to export the Elementor templates into HTML websites in like a matter of seconds, okay? Now there's a guy on our group called Daryl Ledyard, okay? And he discovered this little method and he's also discovered some more advanced methods which I'm not going to show today. So somebody the other week, I think it was Tim Parker mentioned, um, why don't we employ VAs to build, uh, <laughs> to build templates for people and all that? Well, we don't actually need to now because a lot of people don't understand the HTML for the exports you don't need to understand anything anymore, okay? With this little trick that Daryl showed me how to do, I'm not gonna claim that it was my idea because it really wasn't, it was him, he's, he's, he's a testing genius. Uh, with this little trick that he's showing us how to do today, you can create your sites inside of WordPress with MPP and you can then pull them out and they look identical, okay? Now, I'm just gonna shut up and I'm gonna just run on and show you exactly how it all works. It's not gonna cost any additional money either. The plugin that he, he set up to do it is brand spanking new, it's free. Sorry, I'm saying it's new, it's not new, it's free. Right, so first thing you do, rather than waffling, I'm just gonna jump straight over. Okay, so we go inside. So plugins we have, okay, so let's check out the install plugins. Okay, I've got Elementor, Elementor Pro. You don't need Elementor Pro, okay? You just need Elementor. Or you don't actually, you can use any, any page builder. I've tested it on Elementor. Uh, Daryl's tested it on a few of us. We've been talking about it over the last few days. Uh, he's shown me some of his stuff. He's, what he's doing is way more advanced than I'm gonna to show today. But if we can simplify the process, then I'll show people how it's done. So you've got Elementor, you've got Magic Page plugin, and you've got Simply Static, which is a free plugin from the WordPress library, okay? So just type in Simply Static and you'll see it in there. It's by Code of Conduct LLC. If this stops working anytime down the, few, down the line and they stop updating it, then I'll get my team to, re, to, to, to to clone it basically, but a version that works so that we can always do this. Um, I'm not saying how quick it'll be done, but at the minute there's a free version, so we don't need to worry about it. Right, so first thing we'd wanna do is we wanna go in and we wanna add a new page, okay? Cause you've got a blank WordPress website. Now I've installed Elementor because of how easy it is to use. Okay, that ran a bit slow. I'm just gonna check now I'm on the right internet. Right, okay, so basically I'm just gonna click edit with Elementor. I'm gonna keep this very simple, very basic. It's not gonna be a long video. I'm just gonna, I'm just doing this little bit now so you can see. So the first thing I wanna do is go down here and click Elementor Canvas because obviously it looks crap when it's got all that stuff stuck in this place. I'm gonna call the title of it location just for now. Then we click on this little, in fact, just if anyone didn't see that, you see that little file, click on that. There's loads of templates in here. Now, the reason I've gone on to the one I've gone on is because it's, it's obviously um, the thingy version. But let's say we were doing a fitness website, yeah? So we click insert on that one because that looks something like some sort of health website. Okie dokie, boom, we've got a health website installed, yes? Right, okay, so let's say we're doing some sort of training. So, fitness classes in location. Yep. And then let's just, I'm just going to edit this little bit. I'm not going to edit much. I don't know why it's running a bit slow today. Um, We have fitness classes in location which are near to cities. So anyone who knows how to use MPP knows this is just gonna pull in the 10 closest locations. So this is it, I'm not, I'm not gonna go OTT with this, I'm not gonna go out, fill out the whole page and do all that crap. You all know how to add your content, you know how to use your short codes. If you don't, there's loads of training. So I'm not gonna um, go mad about that, okay? Okie dokie, we come out of there. We'll go back to view dash, oh, one second. I should have saved that as a template, right? So let me just, right, so first thing we want to do is set this as a homepage, don't we, so it works. As you can see, it's not working yet because we've not activated MPP. So what you do, settings, reading, <coughs> static page, drop down, location, save changes. So that's now our homepage, yeah? So we've got that really smart looking homepage. 
looks cool. We need to now activate MPP. So we're going to go into Magic Page, click Add New. Call that location, go over here, city central location. Now remember guys, if you watch my evergreen site model, this explains exactly how to create evergreen sites. You wanna be using this platform to build evergreen style websites. And then when, when I show you in a little while how to export them and put them onto another website, it just is, it's absolutely amazing. Okay, so we've got that set to where it is, right? I was gonna click edit with Elementor, but first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back over to the pages, <clears throat> excuse me. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click Edit with Elementor on that one. And I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna click Save as Template. And I'm just gonna put MPP page, okay. And now we've set, now we've created the page and set the central location. As you can see, the home page now pulls in fitness classes in Manchester. We have fitness classes in Manchester, which are near to Ancoats, Hardwick, Mossside, which is the 10 closest locations in the area. So let's click on the draw open page. Okay, now we've got a magic page there. So what we want to do is go and edit magic page. And we need to click edit with Elementor. And same process as I did earlier. Click on here. But instead of going to their templates, you go to my templates. And as you can see, we've got an MPP page. So what we're going to do is we're going to insert that. I'm going to say no. So it'll, I think it'll mean it'll be full page width. No, it's not. Okay, I'm wrong. Element of canvas. Update. <clears throat> Okie dokie. So we've got that set up. We've done all the other stuff. Right, I'm gonna update the page and then I'm just gonna go back to view the page because what I wanna do very, very quickly just to show you this, the, the power of the SEO on this and how it's working is I'm gonna go into the actual page. I'm gonna click edit magic page and we're gonna scroll down to the schema builder that we've added in, okay? And location, car, vehicle, locksmiths. I'm not bothered what I put in here. I'm just doing it to show you, okay, the power of what it actually does. So let's open this schema and let's say we were looking for some sort of fitness classes. I'm assuming they've got some sort of exercise one in here. I'm not going to look for ages of health and beauty business, beauty salon, day spa, hair salon, tattoo. That's health, but is that it for health and beauty? Professional services, sports activities. There we go. Exercise, gym, health club, something like that. I'm not really bothered what it is. Okay, business name. So we'll go into there location fitness classes right and let's just grab that before rather than me sticking a load of locksmith crap in up here i'll just paste that in there paste that in there we're not bothered about the, the meta descriptions and all that but i'm going to put them in so you can see it working anyway okay what we're going to want is 50 a week uh, it's also going to want an image, isn't it? So we'll let's just choose any old random images. Let's just go website images. That'll do. Oops, PSD might not work. PNG should work. Okay, and then we're going to click update. Okay, so now we've just built schema that's probably better than 99.9% .9 of businesses schema out there as well. Okay, so we'll go view the page. And as you can see, Manchester Fitness Classes, we click on my side, you're going to see Moss side fitness classes, okay. If we click this little thing I've got up here, click diagnosis and scroll down to the schema, what you're gonna see is we've got, when it loads up, look at that. Oh, I missed the telephone number out on the thing, but it's not relevant. So as you can see, health club, blah, 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 mtlocksmiths.com. Uh, car key. So it's got the logo, it's got the image, it's got has a map in there. So there's a map version, Moss Side Fitness Classes, Moss Side Northwest M15, Geo coordinates are in there. So it's, it's, it's a good schema that we get on, on our normal MPP pages, right? Okay. So I'm just running through that just to show you exactly how all the schema gets set up on this. Right. This here is westcoastsecure.com. Okay. It's another one of my sites I just use for testing and playing around with. It's a blank site at the minute. Okay. So what I'm now going to do is I'm going to go back into. Here. Now you can create dynamic backlinks in here and all the rest of it as well, 
But what I'm going to do now, you see this simple static down here? I'm going to go into your settings. Okay, you're going to click the middle option and leave it blank. That's it. That's all you need to do. Yeah, now this is brilliant for expired domains and stuff like that. Save, and exp save changes. Okay, then what you're going to do is click generate. And I may have to turn the video off for a second here. Okay, guys, I paused the video for a second there because that took about five minutes to complete. In fact, done finishing two minutes, 59 seconds. So it took two minutes and 59 seconds to do a 249 page website. So what we do now is we click on this button and what it's going to do, it's going to download a zip file for us. So as you can see down the bottom, it's downloading here. It's only eight megs. So I don't know why it's taking so long. I've got 600 meg <laughs> internet now in this new house and it seems to be running slow. Right, so basically we've downloaded that to there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back over to my cPanel panel yep c panel here and what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on west coast secure right west coast secure as you'll remember looks like this okay all right once that's finished downloading i'm going to click here i'm going to click on upload i'll wait for that to finish before i start trying to find it okay that will go into my downloads folder now so select file downloads oop let me just change that to list I'll put the download at the top. There you go, today. Okay, as you can see, uploads pretty quick. Yep, now we're going to click return here, go back. Yes, yeah? so you want to go back to where you are. Then what you want to do is just right click on it and click extract. Okay, extract files. And then close. See how fast that extracted? See how quick it was done? Go back over here, click refresh. How cool is that? How brilliant does that look? It's the same site. It's exactly the same. It's absolutely perfect. Now let's click on Ardwick. Near me, Ardwick. Yep, fitness classes in Ardwick. Click on Moss Side. It's got Moss Side 4 at the top, but as you can see, fitness classes in Moss Side. The images are a little bit big, or it might be my internet that's loading a little bit slow, but as you can see, this is now html okay let's do the forward slash wp hyphen admin you'll see what i mean this is no longer a wordpress website okay that doesn't exist anymore so on that west coast secure now you now have a 200 page website which has all of the same features all of the other stuff now let's go and have a look at the seo and see if that's been dragged in obviously i know it has <laughs> canonical has not been set uh i'd have to have a look at that see what that issue was uh, but as you can see, I know what the problem is. I'm doing the test on the home page. I didn't do any SEO on the home page. Typical for me, make mistake in videos, not deleting it. You just can <laughs> you can watch my mistakes. Let's hit the Droilsden page, okay. Now let's go to diagnose. Okay, near me Droilsden. Okay, I need to figure out why the canonical does that and get that sorted, but that's about it. If you look all the way through here, check out the schema now. Look at this, health club, okay. It's got your ID, it pulls in your logo, your image, price range, it pulls in absolutely all the stuff. It's got your geolocation data in there. It's got Droilsden and Northwest M43. Every single page has a completely unique scheme up from start to finish. There's a bit there that says about the URL, URL value field. We did have the URL value field included, but because we've created it as a dynamic, what's happened is it's not seeing it as a URL, it's seeing that near me drills done. So what we would have to do for that is you see where we installed, one second. No, nope, not that one. Am I on the website here? Oh, yeah, I'm on the website, right, edit magic page. So you see where we've left the URL thing in down here because it's dynamic. What we would have to do is actually put the URL in there, okay? Wait, where is it? Where's the URL? I've lost it, lost it, lost it. There we go, URL. See how it's a site URL? Because we're exporting it, you can't see the site URL. So what we would have to do is use the short codes in there. And so for example, let's go to this page, what we would do is click on that and we go down, where is it? There, paste that in there and we change that to slug and that's going to fix that URL issue in the 
I don't even need to test it because I know it'll fix it. That's going to fix it inside of the code. So then you've got a smart HTML export of your MPP site that looks exactly the same as that. Right now, the great thing is if you're going through my method of doing the evergreen site model, so this site's got all your spin text, all the cool stuff, everything that you actually need all the way through the whole website. Well, the next step then, okay, is to go back over to your magic page and let's say, okay, well, actually, I want a Stockport website. Boom, what's just happened? Well, I'll show you what's just happened. I'll update that. And we'll go and have a look at the home page. Fitness classes in Stockport. Okay, let's say we wanted to change this and I've not installed the databases to show you this, otherwise I would. In fact, I just will, why not? It takes seconds to do. So let's go back in here. Let's go to magic page settings. Let's jump over to the databases. Oh, motorbike outside. Right, so let's say for example, we wanted somewhere in the Isle of Man, yeah? Let's forget the filters because there's only 900 locations. I need to go over and find a city in the Isle of Man. Okay, so they've got Douglas, yeah? So. We've installed the Isle of Man, yes. We click continue settings. We go back over to the magic page. Click on edit. Type in Douglas, delete Stockport. Get rid of the thousand mile radius because we don't want all of Manchester, so let's see. 30 mile radius, that should just pull in the 90 locations. See how the man's not very big. There you go, 90 locations, update, what's just happened? Export that straight to a client site. So literally this can be done now in a matter of seconds. I can just now go straight over to that static, simply static and generate the site and boom, we've got another HTML version of the site. If I go over and click on the home page now, after we've just done this, Boom, classes in Douglas. If I had a map on here, as you'll see, it would be a map of Douglas and all the areas in Douglas. And this just works, guys. Um, most people will be thinking, why is he telling us this? Because I feel like it's not a... It's not going to get repeat buyers for me with the, with the MPP. But guys, this works. It's absolutely brilliant. It works with Elementor from the start to uh, finish. So you've got hundreds of SEO perfect websites. You can use it for your dynamic linking. Obviously you get your dynamic backlink builder as well, which works for S3 and Google Drive and all the rest of it. Industry domination guys, let's uh, th use these. Let's start exporting, get them all done. We know it's so simple, so easy. You don't need to know HTML anymore to use the exports. This can export the websites for you. So you can have 50, 60, 70, 100 sites. Get one decent website built to a brilliant specification that, that you exactly want, an evergreen style website. Follow this process and you can build hundreds and hundreds of these sites. Um, there's plenty of people in our group, Keith, and people like that who will build you an evergreen website for a one-time fee. And then all you need to do is upload it to one WordPress site, grab a load of domains, and you can continually export that domain on, on an ongoing basis. Okay, guys, I hope you love the video. I hope you're as excited about it as I am, because I just can't believe how cool it is. Big, big, big thank you to Daryl Ledyard. I cannot believe he's, he's even shared this with me. Um, and he said he doesn't mind me sharing his findings. He's... he's genius when it comes to testing and stuff like that and if you're not already friends with him you should start adding him because the, the guy's got a, a real good brain for this type of work okay really appreciate you all watching the video um some great news coming from lead simplify soon with regards to the uh, call tracking system and i'll share that video as soon as i possibly can okay guys thank you very much for watching speak to you all soon cheers bye, -bye.